from uh, Leeds United, and today they've announced a record bid of over £5 million for Coventry City striker Dion Dublin. But the club's also denied that it's also made uh, offers for two other players, including one old Leeds favourite. Yes, all the speculation comes, of course, after last night's disappointing exit from the UEFA Cup at Elland Road. Here's Paul Seagate. Leeds hope England international Dion Dublin will give them the cutting edge, sadly missing in last night's goalless draw with Roma. It's believed they've offered a club record five and a half million pounds, but they'll face tough competition from Aston Villa for the striker's signature. Leeds have also been linked with a five million pounds offer for former midfielder David Batty, currently at Newcastle. But today, Chairman Peter Ridsdale denied the club had bid for either Batty or for the informed Barnsley striker Ashley Ward. Certainly any of those players would have been an asset last night, as Leeds struggled to pull back the one goal they conceded in Rome in the away leg. They did, however, have their chances, with Lee Bowyer going close in the first half. And then after the break, a good move nearly ended with Weinhardt getting on the end of this cross. But in the end, inexperience told, and it was the Roma fans who went home happy, and left O'Leary knowing that his side are not yet good enough to take on the best in Europe. We have a young side there, um, five players under 20 years of age, um, and they played against some quality players tonight. And if I can get them better and add a bit to it, um, we'll be a nice little side. And I, I won't mind going into Europe with this side. With just four goals in seven games, the fans know where the problems lie. Plenty of chances. We'll just put the ball in the back of the net. I mean, best thing, look like a new fold, I think, really. That's a bank. Lazy, not interested. Basically, we could do somebody up front who can um, control the game, hold the ball up and lay off to other players. Despite today's transfer speculation, it's unlikely these fans will see any new faces in time for this weekend's big Yorkshire derby with Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, so it was a disappointing night for Leeds, but I suppose, well, we can always look forward to Christmas because we've acts high that they... Yeah, so it was a disappointing night for Leeds, but I suppose, well, we can always look forward to Christmas because we've acts high that they could overcome... ...high that they could overcome the 1-0 deficit from the first leg. But as chances went to begging, it looked increasingly likely it wasn't going to be United's night. Even when Roma were reduced to 10 men for the entire second half, Leeds still couldn't score. We created a couple of chances, just couldn't put them away. It was the uh, same over both legs, really. We, you know, we created a few chances and just we didn't take them.